to the eternally curious, unapologetically superstitious Midnight Society rejects. Stormy Willow welcomes you. We're the eccentric coots, storytellers, explorers, stablers, practitioners, and paranormal pupils who examine the what's ifs, the what's thats, and WTFs of this dimension and beyond. What's up, Sarah? And all of our listeners out there, welcome to the Stormy Willow podcast. It's uh, it's been a while since we've done this, and uh, we decided to record on a full moon, and we've been having all kinds of difficulties. <laughs> so that may not have been um, smooth uh, planning on our part. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't have talked about uh, Skinwalkers last episode either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, we um, we've been on hiatus a little bit, and we're so sorry about that. Um, it's been been really a crazy several weeks. Um, I uh, lost my dog Shelby, um, so it kind of got me thinking about why we do this podcast, you know, and it's just, I think it's the whole, um, what happens in the afterlife, you know, all, the, all yeah. these things that we, we hadn't talked about that yet, but it's coming, but just all of these, these stories, this lore, um, what we think happens. And I think, um, actually seeing her life, just seeing her take her last breath, um, it was really traumatic. I know you've been through that, Adele. You've lost yeah. a cat and a dog, and it just it does something to you, you know? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it just kind of takes a piece out of you every time. Um, but it's almost just like a wormhole or something. Like, if it, I guess the opposite. Like, time just kind of completely slows down. Just your perceptions of everything, like, just kind of freezes for a minute. Oh yeah, it's it's just weird, and so um, I de- I definitely I wasn't in the space to record, and then you know we kind of got busy with the holidays, and here we are. Uh, we've got winter solstice coming up on Tuesday. You'll be in full swing, and so happy all those things, whatever you celebrate. Um, we're wishing you well, and um, we hope that you've been having a better few weeks than I have. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully everyone's enjoying the winter festivities. Even though, you know, they aren't my favorite Halloween. Me by either. Far my- I agree. <laughs> Halloween, like after Halloween, I'm just like, I mean, I still find some magic in the holidays. Like, you know, like watching Edward Scissorhands. Like, that's like where I go to. And <laughs> Gremlins. Holidays and yeah. Gremlins. And, and Die Hard. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but that's if a Hallmark or whatever's your thing, rock on. Whatever brings you joy, um, you go for that. <laughs> or like one of the last Christmases I was visiting you guys in the Carolinas we watch Roadhouse I think that's a tradition we should keep that absolutely I mean <laughs> I, I'm speechless when it comes to Roadhouse I mean you could fit that into any holiday slash day I mean it's always time for Roadhouse I'm always ready to watch Roadhouse <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I quote be nice until it's time not to be nice <laughs> there's some wisdom from from Dalton there <laughs> Listen, uh, do you feel like Dalton's your spirit animal, maybe, perhaps? I still think it's Zach Bagans. <laughs> He's still my spirit animal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, Dalton's a good one to have, too, as well as that. You'd be like a, like, <laughs> like they're like a liger. <laughs> yeah, Dalton is <laughs> my... Zach and Dalton would be a Zach Dalton. <laughs> yeah, Dalton is my spirit guide, I'll say, but Zach oh. is a spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> Why limit yourself, you know? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, just because we were talking about Halloween, this is the third year in a row my Halloween has been completely ruined because we moved to our new house. Yeah, on there was that. Halloween. But your place looks so good. So I got to, uh, Stephen, my husband, and I got to go out to see um, Adele and Amanda, her wife, and the place that they moved out of, they had it. I, I think, it, honestly, Adele, I have to say it was one of your best 
decoration of Halloween that I've seen. Like, it, you guys were spot on. Like, I love the psychic. They had a psychic reading. Or was it a palm reader? What did it say? Yeah, palm reader sign. It was really cool. Like, you, and, like, the creepy lights. Like, I really feel like you guys did a lot with that time. And yeah. The space that you had. It was, it was on point. Just, yeah. I, I'm feeling kind of a Calaveras, uh, or <laughs> what is it? Dia, 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 sorry, I took French, not Spanish, and that was a mistake. Whoa. Dia's, Dia, Dia's Mortos, <laughs> so Day of the Dead. Okay, there you go. I, was, I wasn't <laughs> sure what you were. I was like, uh, like uh, our, you <laughs> Yeah, we have like an adobe kind of house, and it has like a lot of the Spanish like tiles and stuff. So I'm thinking there's going to have to be like Day of the Dead stuff. It's oh, just yes. calling. It's just crying Absolutely. for that. And like, and you might as well just leave that up for all of November. I feel like so. Yes. I mean, why take why rush to take it down? Like, I feel like oh, our yeah. house, and we talk about this a lot. Like, Amanda and Stephen are like the Christmas folk, and Adele and I are just it's just not our thing. And no. we always have talked for years about just sending Amanda and Stephen together, and then us just doing some haunted stuff together. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> because they love, like, all oh, the real Christmas trees, the lights, the hot cocoa. Like, they just, they love it. They absolutely love it. And every year, we're like, can we watch Gremlins? <laughs> we hate this. Yeah, I hate this. <laughs> oh. I like to watch all the classics. <laughs> yeah. There's actually this uh, movie that Amanda loves. It's one of her favorite Christmas movies. And it's, like, one of those shitty movies that you would get, like, in a VHS from McDonald's. Like, it was oh. literally, like, it's like Ronald oh. McDonald introduces the show. And it's called the it's called the wish that changed Christmas, and it's all about this little girl who's an orphan. It's a cartoon, and she like the, the lady's like, oh well, you don't have any parents, you're gonna have to go to the orphanage for Christmas, <laughs> like this other orphanage because I'm leaving town for the Here's holiday. Happy meal, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so she puts this kid on a train by herself. It's like it's the la- very last stop. Just get off and walk to the orphanage. <laughs> so it's already like super fucked up, right? And then the kid gets off at the wrong stop, of course, but she's like, all I want for Christmas is a grandma. Like, not a mom, not a dad, but I, I want a grandma. And okay. so this girl just, like, roams through this town looking for a grandma. Like, this cop, you know, who's married to this lady who wishes she had a granddaughter, of course. And anyway, long story short, she's a lost little girl. The cop is like, well, why don't you come warm up at my house while we try to figure out where your grandma is? Because he doesn't know that she's just crazy and trying to find someone to be her grandma. Oh, Takes oh. her into the house, and she's like, oh, this is the Christmas tree I always wanted. And then she's, like, talking to them. She's like, can I have that Christmas tree? Like, can you be my grandma? All you have to do is love me. And they're like, sure. Oh. <laughs> Adopt her. That sounds really intense. I have a lot of feelings about that. I, old, I'm sorry. Christmas is depressing. That's sad. Oh, and then there's this other side story about these toys in this toy store who are kind of like alive, but like the doll is like, I just want a little girl to love me. Why can't anybody buy me and take me home? <laughs> She's just watching all these other toys get purchased. Let me guess. They find each other. They do. Oh my gosh, it's too much. I can't handle it. But yeah, it's a <laughs> shitty, like, 20-minute movie. Oh, wow. Introduced by Ronald McDonald, and it's on YouTube. It's called The <laughs> Wish That Changed. Christmas. Yeah, so, you know, maybe make that a part of your holiday tradition this year. Or, <laughs> like, you get you some fries and <laughs> watch <laughs> watch this McDonald's Christmas classic. <laughs> yes. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, um, speaking of creepy things, oh, yes. um, how, how have you been sleeping lately? I mean, you've been sleeping well? Uh, yeah, just not long enough. Yeah, well, if you've had any trouble sleeping, uh, the creature I'm about to tell you about might have something to do with that. Oh, yes. Let's instantly. <laughs> did, you get, like, did you like that intro? That's a good segue. You were, you were kind of looking at me like, I, what's happening? Like, I know we don't have a script. But like, what are you asking me this question? <laughs> it sounded very much like the craft. Like, how are you sleeping these days? It's are like, you are you putting like a hex on me? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, yeah, I could definitely tell. Like, I don't really, like, is she for real right now? Do I look her in the eye? What do I do? So, yeah. yeah. No, um, that was the intro to my story. <laughs> right, yes, get us off this stupid holiday tree I, crap. You know, I had to, I had to bring us down. I'm sorry. I mean, yes. I wasn't expecting you to throw out Ronald McDonald, so that was uh. You know why I threw that out? 
It's because Amanda literally just made me watch that right before we started recording this. And I was like, shit, it's just as horrible as I remember from last year. Gosh, it just never gets better. (laughs) It's always just crap. (laughs) I'm going to have to find that. I'm going to watch that, like, cry myself to sleep tonight. You'll probably love it. It Like, it's so emo. It's the best one. (laughs) Well, if you haven't been sleeping well, listeners, um... You know, I might I might have a reason why you're not. So, have you ever heard of a boo hag? I have heard of a boo hag. Don't think I've ever met one. <laughs> I hope not. Well, I am obsessed with a name because I think, I mean, when I decided I wanted to cover the boo hag, I called, like, Stephen a boo hag 10,000 times. I've tried to use boo hag in every sentence that I can because... First of all, I think it's just a great name. I just, I love it. It's <laughs> so the much. best. It's, it's the really, best name. It really is. And also, um, and we covered Skinwalkers last episode, and we were doing something kind of native to where we live. So uh, the Skinwalkers kind of native out for where you are in New Mexico. And I'm in South Carolina. And in case you don't know this, um, Adele and I are sisters. What? Yeah, what? Who Where's knew? My accent? <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Where's mine? I-, I got all the accent, I guess. <laughs> I guess you got double and I got none. <laughs> I guess. But what's so, um, I-, I really wanted to cover this because it uh, takes place in South Carolina. And if you've never been to South Carolina or you're thinking about visiting South Carolina, Don't. I will say <laughs> it is. Uh, you better stop it. It's a beautiful state. I know we've talked about that a lot. Like South Carolina really is beautiful. And below what we call, what us local folk call the low country, I think is some of the most beautiful country I've ever seen personally. It's extremely scenic. A lot of movies have been filmed there, such as Forrest Gump and um, Great Santini, just a lot. And it's just when you think of the low country, I um, think of just like, Beautiful water, old southern charming towns, a Spanish moss, like you know, trees. It's just, it's very scenic. It's very beautiful. Very spooky. But yeah, it's very swampy as well. There's something mysterious. Very mysterious. Very mysterious. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and so um, another cool thing about the Low Lowcountry, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Gullah people. Um, so the Gullah yeah. culture, um, they're, they are, they're Shout so. Shout out to Gullah Gullah Island. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, for Nick friends. Yeah. Yes. Well, um, the Gullah culture is really, it's, it's so thriving and it's so, they have done such an amazing job of preserving their culture and their heritage and really keeping that spirit alive. And I think it's so awesome because um, they were, you know, unfortunately, like uh, most of our country's um, history, they were um, American, they're African-American slaves um, that came here to the lower part of South Carolina, Georgia, and some parts of Florida um, as that they would, um, use them on the rice plantations because the rice were that they grew in Africa, the humidity and a lot of the climate is very similar to that of the low country. And so there was like a very, um, it was just kind of like a real particular craft. And so that's why a lot of the Gullah ended up in that part of the country. Do you um, know what Gullah means or if that name means anything? You know what? Let me consult my friends at Google. Oh, okay. What, I, I was mean? just, I didn't know if maybe you had that in the notes, but. No, I didn't have that in the notes. So thank you. Yeah, I would wait to put, yeah. way to put you on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's okay. I mean, I'm this learning. Is, this is your episode in the hot seat. Next week, you'll be back to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay, so it keeps coming up with gullible, not gullah. I know. I, I would hate I think to think that's, that that's where we get. I would really hate that that's where we, where that the origin of that <laughs> that comes from. Um, so let's see here. So that doesn't Gullah sound very nice. So basically, it's um, it's just it's basically just says as that it's just a member of a, of people living um 
black people living on the coast of South Carolina and nearby islands. It doesn't really give me like a, oh, like okay. what it means, but it's, they do speak. Um, they, a lot of it comes from what they speak. They speak like a very Creole type of language. So it's like, a, it's a language. Gullah is a language. And so they speak it fluently still. And it's really, they have, I really wanted to go. I didn't get a chance to when we were in Beaufort, but they have um, all sorts of like um, museums and just different things. And we're like, you can go to the restaurants where they like literally like still talk and um like speak i believe they call it geechee and so they'll still speak that language they cook the food they do everything the same and so i really wanted to go and really experience their cultures i think that'd be really cool i bet Um, the food is amazing (laughs) oh it looks out of this world amazing so where we get so this is where we get the boo hag from and it's from the gola culture and so the gola believe like a lot of us um a lot of like kind of a lot like the skinwalker they believe that a person has a soul and so if you've been a good person um you would like go on to like a heaven or something and then like your spirit would or possibly stay behind and you would be something like a guardian angel or some kind of guide a spirit guide something positive but if you're bad you would go to somewhere like hell and then you would become a boo hag and so <laughs> you would be so you're like okay uh, so what does that mean like you, i get to be a you can't hag. escape hell then but so that's already a <laughs> yeah <better>. i mean <laughs> you may would prefer to go there after you hear about it but oh maybe okay. maybe wait to hear about it first and just you know i don't know <laughs> but they believe it's kind of like punishment for you oh. for being such a bad person for whatever okay. reason. And so basically what a boo hag is, is it's a monster that doesn't have any skin. So no skin. Ew. So it looks like a hunk of meat. <laughs> like, like a hunk of like grand- like- Yeah, it's basically just like tendons, muscles, like hamburger meat. Ew. But you have glowing eyes. Glowing eyes, no skin. And what it does basically is it takes over your skin. And basically uses your skin and it says that it like quote unquote it rides you in the night and so the goal of people to this day still say like before you go to bed don't let the boo hag ride you oh <laughs> and so um so I what it so does, many jokes i know i know, I'm just, I'm I know. Just to be it's just trigger. just leave it there <laughs> but so just a typical the boo, hag, um, <laughs> the boo hag um it only comes out at night so in the daybreak you can kind of be safe but they, they can still work in the day as well but <laughs> Sorry, I'm digressing. Night. Back to the riding. Oh, you. God, she can't get past it. it. I mean, I almost imagined them, like, riding your back like a magic carpet. I'm like, assuming it doesn't mean that. <laughs> like a hunk <laughs> of like, meat, like, just, like a hunk of meat, like, on you, like, just riding. Yeah. <laughs> like a mechanical bull. <laughs> is that, like, is that's that what Urban Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> it all goes back to Urban Cowboy every time. Always. <laughs> okay. Hey, any listeners out there want to maybe draw us like a version of the hag would look like? What it would, I would look love like? That. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Let's have an art contest. Yes, I'm, please I'm submit some artwork. artwork. <laughs> we'll share on the next episode. It's kind of like um, I, my mind is totally going to super bad when he draws the pictures of the dicks, like all the different pictures of the dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you picturing boo hags writing pictures of dicks? Like, no, I, I want to see like your versions of the boo hags. Oh, like shitty drawings. Yeah, yeah. Wait, sorry. Yeah. I thought you were incorporating boo hags into his pictures, and I was like, I don't. Well, know instead where of the going. dick, instead of the dick, I want to see your boo hags. Or like, or like your Napoleon dynamite, like yeah. Okay. We have really we have digressed. Oh God, <laughs> I'm. Wow. Okay. okay. Anyway, I, you know, I was just trying to understand riding your skin. Like I knew this. that you just weren't going to get over that. I should have just left that out of the notes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so basically, I like to think of Hocus Pocus because, like, you know that scene where Bette Midler is like sucking the life 
like out of oh, yeah. the children. Like, so think of it like that. It's like they say that they like sit on your lungs and they basically they don't necessarily kill you. They just use your energy and your skin. And so that's why they say like when you wake up and you've been tired, like say you went to bed at eight o'clock and you woke up at eight o'clock the next morning and you just felt so tired and lethargic. Because you were written, getting ridden by <laughs> you were getting ridden by boo hag. Don't get rid. Had no mm-hmm. idea. So that's why. But so um, I'm I'm sorry. I'm probably <laughs> yeah. Don't you're you can grill me next. Go ahead. Next Go ahead. Time too. But the skin, like, what are they doing to your skin? They're they're using it. Yeah. Like, so think of it like okay. Think of it like I have no skin, right? And I'm just this evil entity. And I want to go out and cause mischief or whatever at night. So, obviously, if I'm walking around like a hunk of ground hamburger meat, like I'm going to be noticed. Like, it's going to cause a scene, you know? But if I can basically suck out, not really your, if I can like suck out your energy and leave you enough breath just to live and basically take your skin I'm going to take over it. I'm going to go out looking like you, but it's okay. going to be me. So, okay. I get it now. So they're not possessing so, you. No. It's like I'm, sucking. Just, I'm basically just okay. using your skin. I'm using you like a costume, if you will. Gotcha. But, but it's, but not, it's you, not you. It's me. Gotcha. Yeah. They're like pretty much your doppelganger. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And you're still asleep or whatever. And so, they could be like, oh my gosh, Adele went out and like robbed this bank or whatever. And you're like, what? Like, I, yeah, I don't know. like I was still sleeping in bed. Rode that mechanical bull. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I could go out like you know and ride that bull or whatever, and yeah. it's you, but it isn't you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like so, picks when they see themselves. Yes, at the yes. Contest tearing <laughs> it up in the Hamptons, and they're like, "But we weren't in the Hamptons." <laughs> exactly. So uh, a few a few ways to I want to also tell you. Uh, I thought this was hilarious, um, and I could actually relate a lot to the Boo Hag, <laughs> because the Boo Hag also um, is obsessed with numbers, and so one, of the way- <laughs> so one of the ways that you can defend yourself from a Boo Hag, and it, you see this a lot in the Gola culture, is by getting a broom that has a lot of bristles. So say like you, I'm I, say that I'm a boo hag and I'm coming to I, I, like they get in through cracks and crevices like in your door or in your wall. So I can like like I'm basically like a hamburger meat, but then I turn into like Alex back and I can like slide oh, underneath. You're also your, like Santa too. Is what that makes people. Maybe I wouldn't have to come through your chimney. I can just slide through a crack or whatever. Yeah. And you're sleeping and you have a broom like at your bed, at the foot of your bed. Well, I'm going to be so obsessed with counting all the bristles on the broom that I'll forget to come and, like, take over your skin. So they say things like a broom with a lot of bristles, a brush with a lot of bristles, and, like, if they... These are, like, all of the items Grandma Lou had to hit us with as children. <laughs> Did she believe the boom bags? I mean, it's... I'm just saying, like, I, I think... I mean, I'm just thinking of so many things, but like, I'm thinking like Rain Man, like what? Just throw a box of matches at them. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like they have to count. Like, so you basically you want to keep them occupied with counting until the sun comes up, because when the sun comes up, they can't enter your skin. And okay. so, do you? But you have to be asleep for them to get you. Not necessarily, but they you have to. They're awake. They can, but they usually wait till you go to sleep. Um, and so. One way to defend yourself, a broom, a bristle brush. Another thing that works with witches as well is salt. So basically, and I'm going to tell you a really gross story about the salt. So hold up on that. So salt. Mm, gross. Another thing um, is you will see a lot in the low country that we, um, a lot of people will paint their um, windows, what's called a haint blue to keep the ghost away, that's where this comes from. It's the Gullah culture because hate they blue. can't... That's a cool term. I want to yeah. make my room hate blue. Yes, it, it actually is. Like, it's a real, it's, it's a real color, but it's apparently um, they, the Gullah say you should also paint, like, the tops of your window frames um, or anything like that. They can't Ooh. cross it. It's a really cool color. I like that color. Right? It kind of looks like one of the colors... 
that what's his name marv is it in home alone 2 when he gets like electrocuted and all the paint all over him it's kind of like that blue on his face wow anyway. okay <laughs> making me watch a lot of christmas movies i like that shade of blue though it's really pretty it's um, like you it's like not quite i just google it people but it's, it's, it's not quite like robin's egg but it's kind of close yeah it's supposed to be like a symbolic of water and i'm thinking like maybe the blue hag can oh, be water. Yeah, witches are notorious for uh not being able to use their magic i think over bodies of water exactly or so that, bodies that, of salt water there you go you've got, we'll definitely you've got talk your, about that in a future topic you've got your brand or brush you've got your hank blue you've got your salt now also i'm just gonna salt. tell you if you wake up or you're not quite asleep and you see that a boo hag is on you don't fight it because if you try to fight it it can kill you oh no so it's better just so they let say do what it's she needs to do. best to just let them do what they gotta do <laughs> just yeah so don't fight it and they also go away at dusk so they can't enter your skin until you know during the dust. Are, but I don't, are they only it, women? No. Okay. I just I don't assume. Think so. I don't think so. Let me see. I think that they can be men. I, I'm pretty sure they they can be men or women. Let's see. Just the name Hag always makes me think probably Jeez. a woman. That would be messed up. But back to the sleep thing, it sounds a lot like the Hag, right? Are you familiar with the Hag? No. Um, a lot, well, I guess that could be another topic, but pretty much it's like a lot of people who have sleep paralysis, um, some people think it's not like sleep paralysis, that it's the hag coming to visit you. Oh, like I guess. Yes, yeah. it's the boo hag. So it says that it's women and it can be men as well. Okay. So it's not gender specific. So, and hey, also I wanted to, um, those hags. Right. I wanted to also uh, throw out um, when I was doing my research here, and I'll put this in the show notes. There is a children's book called Precious and the Boo Hag, and it was really good. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for like a last minute Christmas gift, I really think that Precious and the Boo Hag would be a really fun read. Um, I, I have read it, and it's really good. Do you remember really who the author was? Um, as a matter of fact, I do. Um, hold up. Guys, I'm really, I'm so, I'm getting so much better at this. Hang on. Yeah, we're really on top of high. our notes. <laughs> well, and to be fair, I did these notes a while back. And so, um, here we go. So it is, do, 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 do. come on. It is going to be, it's a children's fairy tale by Patricia McKaysick, and that's M-C-K-I-S-S-A-C-K, -S 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 and um, actually, it's actually by two people, and I'm, I'm going to mess up the name, but Anawumi Jean Moss, O-N-A-W-U-M-I, <laughs> but it's called Precious and the Boo Hag, and it is so, like, look, at, I don't know, I've got, I'll put it in the show notes, but okay. it's so cute, it's really, it's a really good read, like, I really enjoyed it, um, I liked it a lot and it has really good um it has really good life lessons about being home alone and what not to do so <laughs> it come from, well i'll read it <laughs> yeah read it i don't want to spoil no spoilers. it spoilers but also i um i was just trying to find some lore about you know the boo hag I like some like real life things that have been passed down and you know, some stories and i came across a story about um a guy named aaron and a, a boo hag named maggie and i really i'm gonna put the link in our show notes because um the so the pbs did this um really cool thing where they have these storytellers that tell these stories and they are amazing they're so mesmerizing like they do all these like special sound effects and they yeah. just tell a story so well and so i'm going to give you the sarah version which is really not going to be super exciting that's but what I'll, our version is it's not pbs <laughs> yeah i you know but i'm gonna i've got a link in the show notes and you really should go on that link because um so the storyteller her name is donna washington and she 
what I tell you, she is mesmerizing. Like she is, she tells the story so well. So I'll put the link in there. Please do yourself a favor and watch her. Like she is just amazing. But so I'll tell you kind of the gist of the story. So this guy named Aaron lives up somewhere. I'm going to say he lives in the low country, South Carolina, for sure. And he's looking for a wife because, you know, back in those days, I mean, heaven forbid you're single, you know, you just right. can't do it. And so he just, you know, had a really hard time, like, finding someone that he really liked and wanted to marry and spend the rest of his life with and all this stuff. And there was this beautiful, like, exotic kind of looking lady named Maggie that he met in town and just fell in love with her. Like, she was just so gorgeous. They decided to get married that night. Tip number one. Okay. They don't they don't even want to wait till the day. Like they just they gotta get hitched like immediately. And he brings her to his home and she makes him this really huge meal, like gigantic meal. And he's like, Oh my gosh, like, oh, I'm so full. And so she's like, Why don't you go upstairs and go to sleep and I'll be right upstairs? And he's like, Okay. Well, he falls asleep after eating this huge meal. And uh, as he's falling asleep, she's at the spindle, you know, like the old timey, like you're like kind of spindling or whatever. Well, he's thinking that she's sewing, but really she's spindling off her fake skin. Oh, gross. And then, she, yeah. And then she, he sound, Aaron sound asleep, right? And so then Maggie goes out at night to find somebody's skin to wear. And then she comes back in the morning before the sun comes up and he's waking up and he's like, she's like smells horrible. She's like sweaty Ooh. and disgusting. And I'll remember if you live in the low country, it's extremely humid. So there you're going to be sweaty and like, yeah. you're going to be, it's kind of perfect for a view hag because you're probably going to stink and you're going to sweat a lot. <laughs> That's just how it is. And so, you know, yeah. he's kind of thinking, okay. And when he like, tries to wake her up, she's just like, Oh, like he can only see the back of her head and she looks like a hot mess. Well, then the sun comes up and he sees her downstairs and she's all like back to her normal, pretty looking self, making him breakfast. He goes to work. He comes back home. Same thing happens night after night after night. And he's like, something is really weird, you know? And so he goes and talks to this, like, I want to say like a medicine woman, if you will. And he's like, yeah. she's like, oh, she's the boo hag. Because all these weird things are happening. Like people are exhausted like, everyone's just, like, so tired. It's like the life's been drained out of them. Well, it's Maggie basically going out at night and feeding, if you will, on everybody in this little town. And so the 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 medicine woman tells them, you've got to get some paint. You have to, like, paint, like, your window sills, your roof. you got to paint it the paint blue. And then you need to get some salt. And what you need to do is you need, um, you've got to basically salt her. Because if you salt her, she can't get back into her skin, like her fake skin that she goes out in during the day. And, and so basically, and he, she's like, you got to do all of this before the sun comes up. And so he like nails the window shut. He does, he paints everything. He gets his salt. He does all these things, but he forgets about the attic. So she gets in through the attic and she comes down and he salts her. And then like, basically she can't get into her skin and she's just like this meat blob and just kind of like, withers away when the sun comes up so oh. yeah, a boo hack like does that do you know if that like destroys them i think it does i think that like, it does do they like, go back to hell or just, like, back. i guess i don't know i think that either i think that maybe that's how you get rid of it and like basically you send them on or it just goes outside. away it's almost like yeah. exercise well they, i'm thinking it's like you if you salt them they can't get back into like their fake skin and so they can't really survive but that fake skin spotted. was stolen from somebody right probably yeah so there's probably some exotic looking woman it's somebody that has... decided to fight back <laughs> yeah that's mm -hmm. crazy I, I thought you were gonna say it was like a snail kind of thing with salt i was like oh this they like shrivel up <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I guess so kind of that would so, hurt though if you're just muscle <laughs> <laughs> no flash, like, ooh. I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. I mean, they are, they're interesting. I mean, you it's know, like a vampire. Yeah, like, do you know yeah. if you can, like, summon them? Or if there are any people that, like, are just jerks and, like, want boo hags to wreak havoc on their town? No, I don't think so. From what I can find, it's you don't want a boo hag. Like, it's almost, it's not as, like, 
you know, like with a skinwalker, like just even mentioning the word skinwalker is taboo. I feel like with a boo hag, it's not quite like that, but it's just pretty much like you don't want a boo hag ever. And it's like, this is what you need to defend yourself from a boo hag. Because, I mean, they do have the capability to kill you if they wanted to. Yeah. And just think about it. Like, if you're not getting good sleep and, like, a boo hag is, like, feeding on you and feeding on you and feeding on you, like, you could, like, fall asleep at the wheel or have an accident. And so, ultimately, it doesn't have to necessarily be the thing that takes your life, but by sucking all your energy and your life force out, you yeah. kind of are dying a slow death. So, maybe most it. Americans don't have sleep apnea. Uh, that's right. I'm just saying. Boo hags. It could be the boo hag. And... I mean, I think the boo hag might be riding a lot of people. <laughs> That's what I, th- I don't think. I don't think it's stress and sleep apnea. I think it's the boo hag. I'm just saying. Boo hag riding up. Yeah. <laughs> that needs to be on like a commercial for sleep apnea. <laughs> Is the boo hag riding you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been ridden by a boo hag. <laughs> I honestly think that the boo hag is like my favorite name. Like, and I hope like so, by saying it so much, I'm not summoning it like Bloody Mary or something. Yeah. I have said it a lot because I just think it's the greatest <laughs> word ever. Like, it's just, it's awesome. Um, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want, I don't want to meet one necessarily. Um, yeah. It's, I've got some gnarly pictures, some illustrations we'll post too, but definitely I to really really get the full like the story like I just told definitely go out to that link because Donna yeah. Washington just like the way like she even like makes like the noises like the skin coming off I'm just like oh Ugh. like she's good she's great and then definitely pick up Precious and the Boohag it would be a great uh, stocking stuffer for yeah. the little ones in your just life just scare the hell out of naughty little children this exactly this like Herman's scared <laughs> He's like, get me out of here. I know, bud, I know. Oh, there's a little boo hag, Herman. Herman is a boo hag, for sure. Yeah. That explains a lot. I'm sorry, yep. guys. <laughs> He's saying, hi, hey, everybody. Come here. Come here. <laughs> My goodness, I'm so sorry, you guys. My, uh, his dad left to have pork straight. So. <laughs> uh, so he's been so good. He's been so good this whole time. Oh, my gosh. He's scared. He he's he's scared. <laughs> so that is the boo hag. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of simple. Uh, yeah, it's terrifying. Like it's definitely terrifying. Yeah, especially the fact that you can't like kill them or get rid of them. You just have to distract exactly. them. Exactly. I, I think that for me, the like the two creepiest parts of it are one: if you fight it, it'll it could kill you. Yeah, it's pretty much like hey. Just give me what I want. Exactly. Like, I feel like it's kind of like a, I just, I guess I just feel like, you know, that is pretty bad. And then I think it's kind of terrible. Like, like, what if someone sees you doing something really awful? And like, that wasn't me. And like, yes, it was. Right? Yeah. It was like, you know, like, I, you have no, I have no idea what you're talking about. And right, to like, that point, like, really? like, someone's like, hey, we got married last night. <laughs> it's like, like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I've never even met you before. Exactly. <laughs> I think that that is terrifying, too, that, you know, like, you could, like, seriously just have this whole thing. Like, who knows what they would do with you? Yeah. Okay, we're back. We're back. Sorry, we had to, uh, Herman needed a gingerbread, uh, dog food cookie, so. Oh, I see. He was doing hypoglycemic. <laughs> yeah, he's having a meltdown. Like, <laughs> he's, like, having the opposite of the boo hag. He's just kind of like, I'm hot and sweaty. Oh, maybe he is a boo hag. He's oh, hot and sweaty. He, yeah. I don't know. That would explain a lot. So what do you think about it? Like, what are your thoughts? Like, what kind of questions or, like, what kind of thoughts do you have about the boo hag? Um... Are they bound to that region? Because, I mean, they seem very regional. So is it, like, something, I don't know, it's, like, or most, or do you have to be, like, Gola to become a boohag? I've only heard it in the Gola culture. Like, I think it's, I feel like you might, it, it is cultural. It, it's it's a part like of, skinwalkers, it's Native Americans who yeah, are shaman. I feel like, 
I feel like their victims could probably be yeah anywhere, but I feel like to actually be a boo hag, it's a part of that. You have to be a part of that culture, perhaps. I could be wrong. If there, if I have, if we have any go go listeners, which would be freaking awesome, I would love to have you on the show, and you can yeah. tell me everything I said about this that may not be accurate. <laughs> tell us everything um, we got wrong, <laughs> and I would just like to know, like, how you were raised about the culture like did is it the boo hag something you talked about a lot like in your family yeah. I mean, like, it, it, yeah go ahead like you know how like you have different cultures have like you know the devil and all this stuff like was a boo hag like just something you grew up with like you better not do that or you're gonna turn into a boo hag i mean you know like, yeah. be, or the boo yeah. hag's gonna get you yeah like, like, our grandma told us that a big rat was gonna get us or the, the giant cricket that live in the bathroom like crickets, yeah. Even, yeah. She loved to scare us. <laughs> yeah, maybe and that's why we love these scary things. <laughs> maybe she was a boo hag. That doesn't make sense. She's from the region. <laughs> and she she didn't share a bedroom with Grandpa. That's she true. Had her own room, and she wouldn't that let you sleep true. in the bed with her. <gasps> that is true. She could have been a boo hag. <sighs> oh wow! We just solved a family. Mystery. Another family mystery solved. Yeah. yeah. She did have a lot of wigs. Yeah, right? She could have been a boo hag. She could have been a boo hag. Yeah. 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 I mean, she, ugh, I mean well, also, it also sounds to me like what I'm getting from it is they almost sound like more of a nuisance. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not something necessarily like really like I would agree. You know, throughout the day. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know what? She's going to ride you and you're going to be tired the next day. Yeah. Just piss yeah, I agree. out and make her count and, some and, stuff. And yeah, like I, I feel like that too. Like I don't feel like I feel like there are definitely other cryptids creatures that like you'd be just mortified of. Like they will hurt you like big time. I, I like you. Like I feel like the boo hags. Like I just want to have a good time. You know, like I just want to ride like, you. Just I want to go out. Give me, give me just your skin. Let me borrow your skin. You know, you're and, asleep. Like, I'm gonna go and, party like, it up like a mute. <laughs> They don't want to kill you unless they have to. Yeah. I mean, they could have just killed you. Like, some of the, like, skinwalkers. <sighs> yeah. Like, I feel like the boo hags, like, don't make me. You know what? The boo hag is Southern hospitality. <laughs> there you go. They're, like, yeah, they're the most hospitable entity. Where it's just <laughs> like, look, I don't want to hurt you. Don't make me kill you. Just give me <laughs> your skin for the night. And you're all you're going to be is a little bit sleepy. Yeah. You'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, they're just, they're borrowing it, and they're bringing it back. Yeah, because, I mean, they don't have it. There's, yeah. It's almost like a neighbor, like, can I have some sugar? Like, can I borrow okay. your sugar it's like, if you're rude, and, like, now you can't have any fucking sugar, then they're like, oh, now we're not okay. cool neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> I have to agree. I think the boo hag might be the most hospitable. Yeah. It, which I think is, it just, like, you know, it just ties into, of course, it would be a South Carolina thing. Like, I love it. Yeah. I love the boo hag. I love South Carolina. Yeah. I think it's great. <laughs> I'm a fan of the boo hag. Uh, right? And it's like, and all, all I have to do is just put out a, like, and if you don't want to be bothered, it's like, just put it out of room, you know? Like, yeah. listen, not, not tonight, friend, okay? Just count, just chill out, count this. Like, go next door. Uh, I need some sleep. I have exams or something tomorrow. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> not tonight, man. It's like, you know what? I think they have a leak or something, so you could probably get in through a crack over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, so I I have to agree. Like I I I really I enjoy learning about the boo hag. I like it, the boo hag wasn't one of the most terrifying creature <laughs> of any. I mean, granted, I mean seeing something looks like a hunk of meat with glowing eyes probably, you know, isn't very Scary pleasant. Living. Yeah, but, you know, I'm not gonna judge. Like, you know, like it's, cool. isn't that so typical though? It's always like this bigger, badder, scary looking things are usually like the biggest pansies. Yeah, I don't that's pansies, but they're usually like I look really scary, so I don't have to be super aggressive. That's true. <laughs> it's like it's almost like Edward sister hands. Like, just give me a chance, man. <laughs> like, just fucking out. Yeah, just give me a freaking block of ice, and I'll leave you alone. Yeah. I just want to make some sculptures. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, definitely comparing, like, we've done two episodes, and I take the boo hag over the skinwalker for sure. So. Oh, yeah, any day. I mean, if Please anything, go. maybe the boo hag would make me have, like, a social life. Like, like yes, she would be, like, she... partying it up at all the gay clubs around Albuquerque, yeah, and, like, and I'd be Adele, like, how are you at work? You're like, you're so tired. <laughs> when you, like, like, log on, they'll be like, she was out all night. And you're like, so tired. <laughs> sleep well. She won the Mr. Albuquerque Pride. <laughs> and you're like, what? I wasn't even there. I'm like, like what? So modest. She's I won modest. a drag show. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, next time you're you wake up and you're tired, I mean, don't Maybe blame you it had on a hell of a night. Maybe you had a hell of a night. You made a boo hag very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Take this one for the boo hag. Yeah, just take it. Just take it take for the bag. Take it for the boo hag. <laughs> and on that note, I will say cheers. Don't let the boo hag ride you. Do not. Well, maybe. Maybe. Right. I mean, <laughs> you decide. Don't fight back, though, whatever you do. Yeah, just don't fight it. Go with don't it. Don't fight it. Go with the flow. Just go maybe with the get flow. Maybe you, get, you, get you a nighttime broom, a bedtime broom, just in yeah. case. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was a that was a good topic, and I, I don't know if it's it's not. I don't think it's a super well known um, entity no. like outside of the Gola area. Yeah, I'm really excited to um, tell as many people as I can, not only about the Buhag, but the Gola culture because it's so cool. Like I just I, I just think that it's really awesome that they have preserved their culture like they have, and it's just so alive and well and I just think that's phenomenal so um I hope you read up more about the Buhag and I hope that your um your research leads you to to the Gullah because it's really fascinating they're really cool people mm-hmm. this was a you know something they didn't tell you on Gullah Gullah Island but I would love to see that episode with Buhags <laughs> 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 yeah, like if you want to bring that back and maybe the lost back episodes today. of Gold That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they'll make Precious and the Buhag into like a little series or something. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, well, I think that's all we have here for you tonight or today, whenever you're listening. Yeah. Um, we'll be back with the next episode. I will probably be doing part one. I have a feeling it's going to be a two part. Whoa, uh, you're going to do a, you're do what you're, ju- you're jumping in. I'm jumping headfirst into Skinwalker Ranch. So yes. there's going to be a lot to cover. Um, definitely look yes. forward to covering that. I am super stoked because I know like this much about it and it blows my mind. So I can only imagine when like we really dig in deep there. Um, yes. It's going to be really cool. A lot of crazy activity out on Skinwalker Ranch. Pretty much everything under the sun of paranormal activity has happened there. Like, what is it? You know, like ah. Yeah. So that that will be a fun one. We are looking. F- I am looking forward to that one. I cannot wait. I think it's going to be phenomenal. Yeah. So um, yeah. If you guys liked what you heard. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow us. If you really liked what you heard, hey, we would love to have a review, but like an honest review and let other people know that you liked the show, what you thought. Exactly. And if you want to send us um, some illustrations of what you think a boo hag looks like, please. That would be a awesome. Boo hag writing someone, please. That would be, I would love to see it. Like, please send it to us. Like, I don't know, maybe we could do like a contest and like, there could be a prize. Ooh, maybe I some don't know. merch or prizes. Yeah, that could be Yeah, fun. I think we could work that out. So um, we'll see. If, if you're listening, send us your stuff. Let's we'll see what you got. Yeah, send us at um, any of our social media, Instagram. Uh, we're not on Facebook. Sorry, it was too much of a pain in the ass. But we're on Instagram. We tried. Um, we tried. Or stormywillowpodcast at gmail.com. You can find all this contact information at uh, stormywillow.com. That's right. Definitely, and follow us. Let us know. Um, let us know some topics that you're interested in too that we can research. Yeah, your personal experiences about. as well. We yes. would love to read and share your stories. We would love it, and if you know, um, yeah, we would absolutely love to hear like some maybe experiences you've had, and if you've um, ever had an experience with a boo hag or skinwalker or something we haven't talked about yet. Yeah, yeah. So reach out. We're here. We'll reach back out. That's right. We can <laughs> listen as well as we talk. Yes. 
Well, well Saturday. some of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Burn. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for listening. We hope that you learned a lot. And uh, stay safe out there. Get you, get you that bedtime yeah. room and don't let the boo hag ride you. And as always, keep searching.